Are your cosplay parts too big for your 3D printer? Well, here's an easy way to cut it up. All right, so first thing we got to do is we're going to select the piece that we have. So when we have that selected, the menu is going to light up. <clears throat> and what we want to do is go up here to cut. Okay. When we go to cut, this menu is going to pop up and this plane. Now, this plane you can rotate on the X, Y, and the Z axis. So all we're going to do is we're going to rotate this plane because that's where we're going to cut it. Now, when you go up here to the hashes, it's actually going to snap to that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to snap it to 270. And then I'm going to perform cut. I'm going to keep the orientation on object A and object B, which is highlighted, right? As you can see, the top is now going to be blue, which is object A, and B is going to be pink. All right, so I'm going to just perform the cut, and it's going to do the cut for me. Now what I can do is I can start cutting this some more, okay? So same thing. I'm going to select the item or the object, go to cut, <clears throat> and this time I'm going to rotate it on the y-axis 90 degrees. And now I can just perform cut, and there we go. Now I can lay these down on its flat side, which is going to be this side right here. So I'm going to go lay flat on that side, and there we go. Final product should look like this, okay? Now, when you do cut it, make sure you're mindful of these pieces, like on the arc reactor here, all right? Um, you want to cut it where it actually makes sense. So don't just start cutting things. You have to cut it where it's going to make sense, and you're going to preserve as much detail as you would possible. All right? Quick, easy, down and dirty, one cut, super easy. This is all done in the Bamboo Lab Studio.